ribs, getting ready to throw them in the smoker here. We've got that working outside. We're about to season these beautiful things. And we have three separate cuts of ribs. We're gonna kind of try the meats, uh, the we, cuts of meat against each other today. today. Today, the argument is, what's the best rib? We have a spare rib, we have a St. Louis rib, and we have a baby back. So we're gonna season them all exactly the same. That's right, we're gonna do uh, just like a Charles. Yeah, we're gonna smoke three of them. Then we have a baby back in reserve that we're gonna put in the oven to see if it that. So, silver skin removed. We'll come back to that video later. It's kind of pain. It, it is. But it, it will make your product better. So, let's get it started. Lay one down. All right, so this is like- A baby back. Can you hold it up? Like, this is, see how short it is, how meaty it is. It's fat, it's thick. The ribs are short. Like, this is, this is a baby back rib. So, we're gonna do, like, and you want to season these liberally. Then put burn. Coming back with some pepper. Like, this is, we're gonna do this on each one. Put, we're working fast because we don't want to bore you. Um, okay, put, man, seasonings. All right, so then, just real quick so we can cut the video short. This is a St. Louis style, like you see the difference, like how much wider it is than the other one, and it's a little thinner. thinner. So we're we're judging cooking times on these, and then we have the beast, the spare rib, the spare rib, which is like I feel like it's all these combined, and all the meat is still connected. Connected, I don't know, we don't know. It's almost twice the size of, yeah. of the baby backs. So we're gonna season these all the same way, and we'll. Shoot a video when we put it on a smoker? Absolutely. And don't forget, kangaroos coming up. Seems that good. Nope, I didn't turn it off. <laughs> Welcome back, guys, for our final piece of today, tonight at this point. Uh, yeah, we've, our, been, we've been at this for a couple of six, six, six hours, seven hours. Six yeah, hours, been a while. Uh, we have our smoked ribs. We did finish them in the oven uh, just to. Try to speed things up a little. Yeah, we we had our we had our smoker running a little low and slow today, and we just well we're hungry, as always. Um, we're gonna cut into our control first: uh, salt, pepper, garlic, and onion. Probably could have used a little bit longer, but that's okay. Not gonna stop us. It is not gonna stop us. That's for sure. <laughs> Seriously, okay. takes like 36 hours. We don't plan that far ahead usually. We're no, gonna have to. Um, so we're going to, like we're really trying to instill some heat in some ribs, so we're gonna have to sue the ribs for like almost a day. Like, almost a whole day before we record it. Like, and then, you know, see what we can, see what kind of flavor we can infuse if we threw a vacuum seal one pack. Like, What's your judgment on these two? I mean, texture side, they're both really good. Um, I got 
I know it's like our experiment this time. I think so as well. Salt and pepper did not win this one. Take the four horse and finally uh, took a back seat or something. Yeah. It's now, a close call. And I don't know if, if it's because this was closer to the smoke. So it has more smoke flavor. So it might have more, more flavor to it. But um, yeah, you know, our, our, poor, our poor salt and pepper, you know, taking a lot there. Like it, it wins enough. That is true. All right, guys, that pretty much uh, sums up our night and our, our day of cooking. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you all soon. Have a good night, guys. Maybe. You want to wrap up? Come back in. Yeah. Or you're still covered.